With new Spellbound Collection event coming January 10th, we are getting some exciting updates coming to the control game mode. First off, Respawn is extending the join in progress feature further into the match. This means that matchmaking will try to fill any empty player slots until one team has a score of 625 or there is a score difference of 300 between the teams. They also want to make it a little easier for players who join a match in progress. That's why Respawn is giving players some helpful boosts for their first spawn. Players be able to skip the first spawn wave, spawn with purple armor and helmet, and get a full ratings tier of purple weapons and an ultimate charge. In addition to that, Respawn is adding a new end of match XP reward for control, 150 XP for completing a match. And for teams that are losing by a score of 62 or more, players get a break by skipping spawn waves. They are also making some updates to the in-world and spawn point map icons to include a distance indicator and time remaining indicator. Plus, displaying a hint message when MRB placement is not possible, explaining why it's failing. We will also be getting some changes to Bloodhound clues, they'll now clean up after 30 seconds instead of 90 seconds, and they'll clean up when the player that left them behind dies, except for the player death clue. They are also making some more spawn tuning to try and prevent players from spawning close to enemies, and setting the inventory tab as the default, instead of the scoreboard, when accessing menus during gameplay. Finally, Respawn made some updates to the loadouts and the loadout selection menu based on weapon meta changes, and have also fixed some bugs and crashes. Subscribe for news from Outlands and Apex Games.